Hey, Sergeant Nick Ryan here with Ghost Room Tactical, and uh, in today's video, I'm going to be addressing uh, some questions and concerns from a previous video I did uh, where I spoke about the uh, different uh, concealed carry positions and the pros and cons. All right, so um, a lot of people, um, again, uh, commented on it and asked you questions, and uh, a couple of the big ones, okay, uh, number one was if I do decide to carry appendix, um, it's not comfortable uh, when I'm sitting, it's not comfortable in the car. Um, so just basic comfort, okay, of, of how to carry appendix comfortably. Um, so I'm gonna be covering that in this video on different ways that you can hopefully make appendix carry comfortable for you. Um, another big question we got uh, was, that people think that carrying appendix is the most dangerous position if you have an ND, right? Um, so I am going to reference you guys to a video um, that uh, John Lovell did from uh, Warrior Poet Society. Great video on explaining how the appendix carry is actually not the most dangerous uh, position to carry in. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that link to that video uh, in the description below. All right, so check that out. All right, so let's get into uh, tips on how you can carry appendix comfortably. So first off, I wanna cover um, your pants, okay? What you're actually wearing. Um, so when it comes to pant size, um, what I always do is I buy um, a pant size that's at least one size or two sizes bigger than what I normally wear. So I normally wear uh, waist size 32. So I usually buy waist sizes of 34. Right? That seems to work for me. Also, um, I wear jeans that are a little stretchy, right? So I've got another video where I did a pants review and I cover uh, actually the jeans I'm wearing now. Um, these actually have a, a small amount of spandex in it, which yes, I never thought I'd be wearing spandex pants, but uh, it actually makes carrying appendix a little bit more comfortable uh, with having that stretch, all right? Um, so think about that when it comes to your pant size. Now, um, a common a common thing that, that I hear a lot of people say is that you should carry the largest gun um, you're able to conceal, all right? So I think this originated from the the larger the gun, the more ammo you can carry which, you know, it makes sense. Uh, but these days, I don't think that actually rings true anymore. And for me, if it's not comfortable, I'm probably not going to wear it, all right? It's just I want to be comfortable uh, when I'm, you know, doing my day-to-day -day things. All right, so for me, I've experimented with lots of different weapon sizes and holsters, right? So I'm going to go through these uh, and kind of explain kind of what I've done here. So um, uh, again, I'm a Glock guy. So uh, if you're not, then again, there's there's plenty of other sizes, okay, in the gun brand that you prefer. All right, so first off here, uh, this is a Glock 19. Um, so this is a, a, a compact Glock. Um, I carried this for a while. Uh, it worked out well, um, but I ended up printing too much. So the um, the pistol grip uh, actually printed too much. It would stick out and, and, and it would show if I was wearing like a regular t-shirt or something like that. Uh, so then I didn't like that. So I stopped carrying this. All right. Um, next up, what I went to uh, is I went to a subcompact Glock, um, which I've been carrying this for quite a while. Uh, I think Oh man, I think going on eight years or so, uh, I've been carrying this and yes, I, I really like the subcompact. So for me, the subcompact works the best. All right. So I always have a spare mag. Okay. And then I've got my subcompact, which yes, it, it's a little difficult to get my fingers around, but I can't get my fingers around. I can get a good grip and I can't shoot this well. All right. Um, Light selection, so if you're able to get a weapon with a, with a weapons mount of light, highly recommend it. Um, next up, we have um, the Glock 43X. So this is the subcompact uh, single stack. 
Um, this is now my new carry. Uh, again, I've only been carrying it for uh, two, three months. Uh, but I'm, I'm really enjoying this setup. All right. So it's a subcompact, just like I liked out of this one. Um, but with the single stack, it's just able to suck into the body just a little bit more. Um, and so, so it, it prevents printing. Also, um, with this subcompact compared to this subcompact, you'll see the grip is longer, okay, than this, uh, double stack, uh, subcompact. So really like that, but because it's a single stack, okay, and not a double stack here, that makes it, I'm a, I can able, I'm able to carry this and not print when I'm wearing t-shirts and that sort of thing. So really digging on this. Also, you know, uh, we've got the, the, um, uh, the shield mags on here. Uh, so I'm able to carry a subcompact single stack with uh, a 15 round mag, one in the chamber and another 15 round mag. That's a lot of ammo. All right. So when it comes to the whole thing with, you know, carry the largest gun you can because of you know, the ammo capacity, whoa, <laughs> I can carry a pretty little gun here and have the same ammo capacity as a larger gun, all right? So, uh, so again, really digging the single stack subcompact uh, for my everyday carry, all right? Um, so uh, lastly, in this video, let's cover holster selection for comfortability, all right? So uh, this one here, uh, this is a uh, tuck tight holster. Um, again, had this for a long time. Um, great, great holster. But one of the things I don't like is how rigid it is. Okay, you'll see on these how it actually has the the uh, cord in the middle, which separates the spare mag and the and the actual holster. So it actually flexes with you a little bit more. All right. So up again, tuck tight, still a good holster. Um, this one is the uh, tier one. This is the Axis uh, Slim, I believe, the Axis Slim. And you can see that the spare mag flexes, okay, with you. Uh, so it makes it, again, a little bit more comfortable. Um, and then now I'm trying out this one, uh, which this is the, um, the Axis Elite. Um, so, again, I'm not sure the difference between the holsters too much. Uh, but it's, it's again, still got the, the flex with it. So definitely whatever you do, get a holster that has uh, a separation between the spare mag and the holster. Um, again, definitely suggest that you guys carry a spare mag with you. Again, ammo capacity is, is a big uh, deal. Um, but just get one that separates. Uh, again, there's the, you, you don't have to deal with these companies when it comes to holsters. There's a lot of good holster companies out there. Uh, but just make sure you go with one of the bigger brands that have been around for a while and that have a good reputation. Um, so you're not buying these, these cheaper models that people are making out of their, out of their basements, uh, go with one of the bigger brands. It, it's well worth the money, uh, and the time you have to wait to get them, uh, for the quality that you're going to receive. So again, if you guys have any questions on this, just let me know. And what I'm going to cover in next week's video is going to be belt selection uh, on which belt is going to be the best choice for you for again, to be able to carry appendix comfortably.